Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Go Camping. Let's make tracks. Yeah, let's. Or how about we go and um, uh, camp, <sighs> shall we? I'm all sticky and gross. Woohoo! Bath time! Yes, because, you know, we can have a bath in the middle of this rock. So. Definitely. Okay, yeah, I thought I'd just let you guys enjoy that video, that little clip there. So, here we got, ooh, we got a couple different things here. Last stand, significantly increases strength and magic, but drastically reduces maximum HP. Ooh, increase experience points by, earned by 1 per 10%. God damn, so we have a couple low-level dishes. Um, that's level 3. Well, we can do the toad steak drumsticks. Oh. Sweet peppers are pretty important. Well, we'll go with this one. HP boost level 10. That's pretty nice. Uh, magic boost by 100 and an attack boost by 120. The fod favorite by Chocobos. Yeah, let's do this guy for my bird. <gasps> do I get to see the Chocobo eat with us? If so, that's awesome. Great, because you know that's what I want to look at is delicious food. <gasps> oh, that is so awesome! We get to see the chocobos. Oh, that's so adorable. <coughs> Sorry. So we got seventy-six AP and nine thousand XP. So we're all gonna go up one level. Uh, maybe even those two on the end there, too. Yep, two levels. Nice. 29, 29. We're all level 29. Skill level up, Ether Eye. And skill level up, Prairie Style Skewers. Nice, nice. Let's look at some of our pictures here. Ah, yes. Memories of a time. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not bad. Memories of a time long forgotten. That's what I was oh. looking for. Okay. So yeah, that was that's the camping mechanic of this game. And so now we got some buffs for our characters that are rather nice. Feeling refreshed. Well, the tent lets you stretch out a bit more. Yeah. The work's done. Come and pick your weapon up. Um, listen, Gramps, I'd love to, but uh, if we take a look on the map here, I can't even reach you. You're too far away. So we're going to go ahead and do this main quest since, you know, much of the world is being... Oh, it's already active. Much of the world has already been cut off by, to us. So well, there's my chocobo. Let's go. Let's go and scope out this area. Actually, first, I should probably get close to my mic here. Um, first, let's go and pick up this fire. Thanks for the ride. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Okay. Huh. And a nice one over here. Any plan of attack? Plow right through them. I'll circle around. Okay, I'm going to cut this out for a second. And again, just like that. Okay. Better than good. Obviously good we're good. Go. So, there goes that fight. And I'm gonna also going to pop over there, pick up that electricity. So I'll see you there in just a second.
Okay. And I will call my chocoba. Oh, there you are. Easy now. And now it's time to cut over to engaging the empire. Survey yeah. the RKO stronghold. So I'll see you all in just that a second, okay? <laughs> Not you gotta try this. Yeah, I think they heard you. Knocked overhead. Yeah. Oh man, that was my first time flying on a ship like that. One more item to cross off the bucket list. Okay, so. Ooh, here we are, guys. As you guys saw, there's just some red lines here and there. Don't know why, but there are. Ooh, maybe because of that red little beam thing going what up. What is the king's calling exactly? Well, become best buds with the gods, maybe? Legend has it the king once stood alongside the six in the battle to banish the darkness. Darkness seems awfully vague. I think it's meant to be that way. For a reason. Kind of fortress. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old wall, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Make camp at Sothmark Heaven, devise an infiltration strategy. Oh my god, we're gonna be going camping anyways, so. No, wait, sorry, jump. God damn it. God. Mm. Okay, so if I'm not able to make my food dish, if I lose my bonus for my food, um, I'm just gonna cut, reload, and re-go there. So yeah, Cindy we'll see what happens. Ever. Here we go again. Going out of her way to help us these past couple days. I'm sure she's had better things to do. All for a lost cause. Now I feel bad for turning down the courtesy. Ugh, I'm all sticky and gross. No, you're not, Noctis. Stop complaining. Oh, thank God. I can still have that boost. Ooh, pork style skewers. I mean, hey, if we can, we'll eat well. So, while we're at it. Still kind of annoying, though. I essentially just wasted a dish. So. Oh, well. Great. We got no gain from that. Our uh, little Ignis did gain quite a bit from his cooking. <laughs> Nailed it. No. Why can't I warp too? So unfair. Too bad, Prompto. Too bad. So any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. <clears throat> But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then, we learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right, we're gonna get our wheels back. Yes, let's begin the operation. Because we're not going to bother doing any side quests without that regalia to use, so. Undaunted by the Empire's imposing technology, Noctis and his retinue risk everything to break inside Archeol Stronghold and recover the Stolian regalia. I mean...
Oh, so I just yawned there. I mean, is it really worth it? <sighs> For a car? Come on, guys. Just kidding. It's probably like a nice birthday present from the king. Our goal is the regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three. Two. One. One second, guys. I'm going to do something. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I was silent there for reasons because my dogs were um, uh, barking. And so I didn't want to, you know, say anything. You know, not be able to have you guys hear it. Simple as that. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. Come on, Knock. Jesus, is this your first infiltration mission? <laughs> mission? Hey. Okay. I don't know what I was talking about there. I don't know if that maybe was a visual glitch or something. Although this, there we go. That was a visual glitch. Jesus, that looked terrible. Target the blind spot. One hit, one kill. Even reached the light. That's how it's done. Oh yeah, like a boss. Knocked. Keep it down, will ya? Jesus. Can I shut off the light. We don't even have a choice here. the base a magitech generator of some description it would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong i say we wreck it spare us the sneaking around the risk is too great finding the regalia comes first not a sound you'll alert the enemy Got i it. think me standing in the open will alert the enemy
Now we kick Imperial butt. You don't notice me. Wait, is there someone up here? Really? Doesn't matter, he's dead. I didn't even realize that there was someone up there. That was stupid. There was no way to tell that guy was there, man. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. Nope. Still as shitty as the day I found it. I heard wrecked it. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear a path for the Regalia. Nice. Okay. So next is this guy. Nice. Yeah. He's dead. Something to look forward to. See ya. Stay sharp. It isn't over yet. Why will it end? Want it to end? Fight more. Wine less. Ha! Blow up the yeah. energy tanks. They'll take out the enemies nearby. Let them do the work for us. Yeah. Yeah, no, fuck it. Let's use guns, man. Oh, dude, Prompto, what the hell are you doing, man? Really? You gotta ask me for permission first? Come on, dude. Just use it, man. Ignis, you too. Come on. Gladios, come on. You too. Just use potions when you need them, guys. Now this gun does not lock on. That would have been nice. Oh my god, Prompto. Why are you already so weak, dude? Ugh, look, better on the health levels. Don't know it's because this guy was it. God damn. Probably was because of that guy too. I won't be surprised. It's not we'll the easiest the guy for them to kill since they're on ground. Locked. Focus your efforts on the generator. There's a chance to So we'll weaken the MTs. No more stealth. Our cover's blown. Go to town. Yes, sir. Oh, okay then. I, I was really sad there for no reason. Um, you know, I'm kidding. Because we're destroying this thing. Why? Because why not? That's why. Go. 
Oh wow, he did not stand a chance there at all. Um, damn. So wait a minute, if I get into this turret, can I shoot the gunner? No. Okay, cool. I didn't think so. Yeah, no, they don't really want you just cheating it and trying to shoot it and then complain about how it won't work. So. Because that's not the way it's meant to be done. Let's pick up this guy. Dear Lord, why so bright, man? Okay. Point over here. Oh, mana. Great. Not what I care about. I'm looking for items. Nope. No items. Okay, then. So. Most people I feel in this fight would... Okay. Ooh. Okay, so there we go. So we got that guy down. Next, we're taking down these guys. Actually, you know, I'm not too. I don't care too much um, uh, about having such a far back view. Actually, it's not that bad. I find. And charges fully up, and then fire. Oh, just before it went. Keep my full health. Keep my full health, dude. Come on. Okay. Um, Remu the Polgarian has Dane. Yeah, I don't need that. That's the thing, they want me to do it, but I don't. Right? I don't want to use it. Why? Because I don't need to. Unless it's going to make me will it. Ah, oh, awesome. So I don't need to. Actually, no, let's use lightning, baby. Nice. I didn't even need to use Ramu. Guessing is not weakened with the magic barrier. Now is your chance to deal the base a crippling blow. Oh, does it? Okay, I see. It wants me to use it anyways. I'll do it. Welcome to the Final Fantasy 15 Remu Summon. Judgment Bolt, baby. Pretty badass, pretty powerful, but I don't know about anything much more than that. Piece of cake, huh? Hmm. This part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. That there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Okay. I seem to have went the wrong way, guys. I shall teleport using my magical warp powers over there. Just one moment. Actually, there's an item up here. What is this guy?
an ether. Nice. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. You know you can't be lazy. You gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be bad. I just move from point to point on this base who warps. I think I can. Nice, and here we are at the car. <clears throat> oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command. The king's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Hey! Wanna go? Let's do it! Should the Chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravis Nox Fleuret, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freo. At long last, the Imperial blockades of Disguian roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. Okay. So we've got kind of like a little rival there that we can train ourselves to beat. Um, I'll give you guys a hint. Do not take the turn on that road. It is a false prophecy. If you guys remember a little while ago, I took that road in part 4 or 5 or 6 or whatever. And who my car got damaged quite a bit there. So Yeah. We're gonna go meet up with Iris in Lestalum. And uh yeah. I guess uh I wonder if the next part I'll do. Maybe the next part I'll do will be a catching up quest quest, sorry. Where I'm, uh, I go around and I do a bunch of side quests. May even do three hours of stuff cut down into one hour. Probably impossible, but um uh yeah. Maybe so, maybe no. I don't know. Just gonna enjoy the nice, nice long drive back to Listalum. With the banged up car that is the Regalia. Oof, boy. We need to repair this guy so badly. Look at Gladios. 
Gladio. Sorry, not Gladios. Just reading the book there. And going to the other lane here. So, Nox, haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? See more pictures of Ignis, you know? Get some more shots of specs. Ah, <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. Awesome. I have to go over to back to the original lane. Ooh, okay. Let's park here. Bet da -da 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 -da. You'd think they would at least repair our car for us, huh? But no, because they didn't want to. We'll have to go see Cindy and do that ourselves. So what's next? Ask around a little? It's up to Noct. Wow. Good job, Noct. You almost some uh, almost ran over that poor stranger there. I feel really bad about that, but they've got oh cup well. noodles outside the city. Alright. Might be worth investing in a few servings in the event our pantry runs bare. I'll put it on the list. Okay then. Look at her. Oh, buddy. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then. <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jerry? There was nothing we could do! Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We. We can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand. Mm hmm. There's the end of the chapter, and got ten thousand XP, and oh, look at that level thirty-one. We're hitting it, baby. A little bit higher there. A little bit higher. My fishing level is still level 1. That's got awful. It's okay. Me warping. Good old Ravis. Not too impressive. Okay, next one.
a way forward. Beneath the Cape came light in the south of Klein lies an underground harbor. It has long served the Lucian royalty, and even now a vessel once owned by King Regis lies at anchor there, following in his father's footsteps, knocked his heads for the ship. So we gotta see some cool action scene there. Like I was just knocked being a pure bred badass. Um, even without his uh powers, you know. But uh the question is, how long will that take to come to fruition, huh? When will that happen? Who knows? Because I don't. Because after this right here, this is where I'm at in my own in my own copy. And I haven't played my own copy in about a year. So, on my own save, sorry. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I guess next episode will be a nice little... A nice little uh, side quest. Fandazzle. Fandazzle, you know? So, yeah. I can't let her go it alone after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. Hmm. Okay then, guys. So next time, we will go and we will do some side quests. So yeah, I guess I will see you all then. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, awesome. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. And bye.